fall out of Mahua's Kali remarks. Kali to me is a meat eating, an alcohol accepting goddess. To me, that is a version of Kali. FIR against TMC MP in multiple states. BJP hits the streets, seeks Mahua's arrest. Mahua defiant, says Kali is fearless. TMC abandons Mahua, Karur comes out in her support. Smoking Kali face-off. The film fraternity is completely silent. This all started with a film poster. But the one actor who's chosen to speak out on the entire Kali controversy issue is Ranveer Shori. He's already live with me here on Five Live and he's going to be joining me to take my questions on this issue right after the headlines. Ajmer Darga Khadim, who openly put a bounty on Nupur Sharma's head, has been arrested. India Today was the first channel to show you this hate mongering, but it's happening elsewhere as well. Who will ever like? Civil aviation regulator sends Shoka's notice to SpiceJet after a series of near misses. DGCA red flags, poor maintenance, safety oversight. Minister Sindhya says passenger safety is paramount. The accused Musewala killers fire yet another purported threat letter to actor Salman Khan. Threat letter attributed to Bishnoi gang, accessed by India today. Remember, Lawrence Bishnoi has denied threatening Salman Khan recently. Agenda setting national news break, ultimate proof of Pakistan's terror treachery, the government's clinching terroristan dossier, 33 pages accessed exclusively by India Today. Monsoon mayhem returns to Mumbai, traffic jams on waterlogged arterial roads, Thane man hits a pothole, is run over by a bus. This is what Mumbai is looking like. Lok Sabha MP from the Trinamool, the high-profile Mahua Maitra and her remarks on Goddess Kali at the India Today Conclave East yesterday have set off a political firestorm. While her own party has distanced itself from her remarks, in fact publicly scolded her, Mahua appears to have hit right back. Is this the beginning of the end of the Trinamool MP's ties with Mamta Banerjee and her party? And remember all of this over a Kali film poster that was reported first here on India Today and then the remark by Mahua that sparked this huge, huge battle. Take a look. Kali to me is a meat-eating, um, you know, um, um, uh, alcohol um, um, accepting goddess to me. That is a version of Kali. And Mahua Moitra's meat-eating, alcohol-accepting Kali comment made at India Today Conclave East has put the firebrand TMC MP in a tight spot. There are now three police complaints against her in Bengal. An FIR has also been registered against the TMC MP in Bhopal for deliberately outraging religious beliefs and feelings. <laughs> Her own party, the Trinamool Congress, strongly condemned the remarks publicly, calling them Mahua's personal comments, not endorsed by the party in any manner. An upset Mahua was quick to hit back, promptly unfollowing TMC on Twitter, raising speculations if she is mulling severing ties with Mamta's party. <laughs> The BJP took the offensive a notch higher, lodging multiple complaints and staging protests for arrest of the TMC MP for hurting Makali, targeting Mamta too, 
calling it an example of her anti-Hindu mindset. Atinamul to koi political party nahi hai, a company hai, a poribar baat ki upar aur tushti karan ki upar chalti hai. Ye o uski malik ko puch lijiye kya karega. Atinamul Congress abne or se Mohan Mohito ki statement se khud ko apart nahi kar sakti. Agar sasmuj mein Atinamul Congress isko nahi manti hai, to unko chahiye ki unke khilaaf kuch na kuch step liya jaye unko kuch na usko party se nikala jaye ya suspend kiya jaye kuch dino ke liye nupur sharma ke sath humne kya kiya wo aapne dekha not only bjp all over west bengal all over india ka jo log hai uska jo sentiment hai hindu ko jo sentiment hai usko par aghat aaya hai isliye wo hua mulchon ke paas hum log against me ja gaya hai protest was staged in mahua's own constituency but the tmc mp stayed defiant tweeting jayma kali and in an apparent dig at TMC, she called Kali worship fearless and non-appeasing. Trinamool, meanwhile, kept snubbing her. The question does not arise uh, uh, backing uh, anybody's remarks, which is detrimental to the belief of many of the people in our country. Uh, and because of that, our party has uh, condemned the remark of Mahua Mahito. Amid massive backlash, and multiple pan-India FIRs against her, Mahua got backing from Congress MP Shashi Tharoor and actor Swara Bhaskar. But have Mahua's remarks hurt TMC in a state where Goddess Kali is deeply revered? With Suryagni Roy and Indrajit Kundu, Bureau Report, India Today. Kali to me is a meat-eating, um, you know, um, um, uh, alcohol-accepting um, um, goddess to me. It's the newest thing that's polarizing people in different parts of the country and indeed different parts of the world, leading to something of a vitiated atmosphere. It all began with a poster of Goddess Kali by a documentary filmmaker in Canada. A lot of things have been said and it has led to a huge debate over the selective depiction of Hindu goddesses. Remember, all of this happening in an atmosphere of polarization and divisions in the wake of the Nupur Sharma controversy. Now, the one thing that we haven't seen when there are issues like this making the headlines is actors, celebrities coming out and really speaking, which is reasonable in one sense because these are sensitive issues and nobody wants to burn their fingers. But one actor who has been outspoken, who has always spoken out about contentious issues, is one who joins me live today. Here on India Today is Ranveer Shore. Ranveer, it's good to see you. Thank you for your time here on India Today. This is a delicate topic, but everyone's talking about it. It's all over the internet. It's the trending topic. All the politicians have jumped in as well. But my opening question to you, Ranveer, is what do you think about this Kali poster and the reactions you've seen. You're an actor, you're in the creative field, this is where it's come from. What did you think of it? Well, um, since I come from the field, I can tell you that, uh, you know, having such an image uh, in your film itself in passing is one thing, but to have such an image on your poster, which is your, you know, you're leading with that, with your marketing, material to have an image like this, I think uh, uh, one can't help conclude that this is a, a desperate, uh, you know, desperate uh, attempt at uh, getting attention, uh, which it is now. What did you think of the reactions? Were you surprised by the reactions? There was a great deal of outrage, you know, a lot of criticism. Most people said that this is, uh, you know, this is a selective depiction of Hindu goddesses in this manner, you know, by people who would never dare do this with, you know, figures of other religions. Yes, and I think uh, more than any, I mean, I'm not a very religious person. I'm not very, yeah. uh, you know, well-read on religious scriptures. But I think more than anything, what has be, uh, begun showing now is the hypocrisy, uh, which is that, uh, uh, you know, how... how uh, this certain group of people who claim to represent liberal values, how they react to, uh, you know, uh, one religion and how they react to another. I think that hypocrisy has started showing and, and that's why I think people are, uh, you know, enraged. So you, uh, you're, you're saying that there is a selectivity going on here. 
you know, the fact that someone doesn't see anything in deciding to put out a poster of this kind, uh, you, know, uh, you know, without any fear of a violent backlash, for instance, is a depiction yeah, of this selectivity. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you mean when you say selectivity. But my point is, I, I don't think this filmmaker would be able to do this. You know, uh, use this iconography of, from other religions. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, and uh, I think the because Hinduism, uh, you know, contrary to popular opinion and what we see right now, uh, Hinduism generally breeds liberalism. You know, it gives you a lot of freedom to. Uh, for variations and, uh, you know, your own interpretations even. But I think uh, we need to understand one thing that, uh, uh, you know, liberalism, uh, you have to, liberalism makes you, uh, it tends to make you uh, confuse or pass off your own interests as interests of the group. I mean, uh, you know, you're, you're claiming to be part of Hinduism say, uh, but but you say no, you know. Uh, for me, this is the image. This the, it, this me me thing doesn't really make make sense, does it? I mean, I, uh, you, you the, the deity is not just yours; it belongs mm. to a group, right? Yeah. Um, uh, and if 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 you're so so adamant on your me Hinduism, even gives you the freedom to start your own religion. You know, have you mm. make your own deity. Uh, you know, call it whatever you want, and you, you can make it do whatever you want. Uh, but, but when you when you start saying, you know, for me, this is okay. Uh, I don't know how that works because that deity is not just yours; it belongs to a group. Hmm. Absolutely. And you know, the the uh, what strikes me about what you're saying is interesting, Ranveer, because uh, because there are many you know people who are you know like you, not very religious, even atheists, moderates, if you will. Uh, you know, who've been sort of outraged by this. They believe that, you know, how long can this thing kind of go on for? And that's one of the, uh, you know, particular things about this story. People who, you know, wouldn't, you know, throw a second glance at a poster like this uh, are now reacting, saying enough is enough. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think, uh, Shiv, ideally, I would have, you know, I, I would I would like a society which is yeah. completely free. You know, the complete freedom of expression and freedom of speech to be able to crit criticize uh, Same, yeah. you know religious religious uh, political even spiritual um, uh, you know subjects. But I think we live in a society where on you know of, of very diverse values as far mm. as religious sentiments go. Because on one hand, you know you have. Um, you know, religions which are okay with just, you know, saying sorry or just, uh, you know, chanting or just saying few, you know, Hail Marys or something. And on the other hand, you have religions which want to chop off your head if you say something about them. I think, uh, I don't think we as a society are ready for absolute uh, speech and absolute freedom of expression. And and I, I know, uh, I know we, we are not a society like that. So, I mean, we, mm. uh, it's important to have certain laws to be able to aggregate aggregate these values you know um and uh, and then those laws should be applied equally but and the yeah. state needs to be strong about that you know you can't have uh, you can't have heads being chopped off uh, you know in the name of uh, in the name of blasphemy and and mm. and, and, and mm. such or sacred sacred religion in this case um so i think we need to have reasonable laws which which kind of reflect the values of our own constitution and then the state needs to be strong enough to implement them yeah, no, that I, I I completely concur with you on the you know on the law enforcement issue. I I for one am a person who actually believes that it should be about the law of the land and not about sentiment because sentiment is a slippery slope. I've actually tweeted about the poster as well. Uh, last couple of questions, Ranveer. You know, you, you were talking about liberals. Uh, it, it, my personal view about liberals is uh, the the people we call liberals in this country. I don't think they really are liberals because the the hypocrisy and the selectivity with which they apply those liberals values uh, kind of negates any uh, you know inherent liberalism but that aside would you agree that it is this sort of hypocritical selective you know application of those values of one particular depiction and not the other that has that has in one way you know outraged people who say that you know this kind of thing has been happening for too long uh, there has to be an end to it. If you go onto social media right now, there are many reasonable people saying, you know, this kind of thing wouldn't have mattered perhaps a few years ago, but now everyone's really angry because they see it happen over and over again only in one direction. 
Yeah, I mean, um, Shiv, uh, uh, you know, radicalization and extremism, fundamentalism, uh, it, this is like a virus, you know, it, and, it, and, it, and it travels community to community. Uh, yeah. You know, in a ro room full of five people, if one person starts asserting you know, his identity all the time or, or, you know, over certain things, you can be sure in the, in the room other people are also going to, okay, you know, this guy can do it, then I can also do it, you know. Hmm. You know, it applies to me. And, and let's face it, you know, uh, constitutionally we are bound <laughs> with equality, right? Everybody needs to be treated the same. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, I mean, this hypocrisy is very apparent and, and that is what is really uh, uh, getting people go to. Do you, do you think there's, uh, there's something that the government should be doing at this point of time? You know, there have been calls for, uh, you know, the prime minister coming out and making some kind of a statement. With anything that happens now, you usually see one of the principals come out and say the prime minister should come out and address the nation. We've seen all these polarizing flare-ups happen, Ranveer, over the last many, many weeks. What do you think? You think the government needs to do something? Of course. I mean, who else? Uh, that's why they are in, you know, that's why they are voted to power. And yeah. uh, I don't know, I don't know about the prime minister coming out and saying something. I don't think that, uh, you know, I don't know what that amounts to. I, of course, it's wonderful to hear the prime minister uh, whenever he speaks. But uh, mm. I think more importantly, the state machinery needs to uh, act and keep up with what is happening. Okay. And one final question, because, because you know, sentiments have been hurt. Uh, you've got, you've got Indian laws that are applied in different places. There are all these FIRs being lodged. Uh, I don't know if you caught the, you know, Mahua Maitra of the Trinamool Congress had something to say about Kali. She's been, you know, scolded by her political party. What do you make of all of that? The, you know, the fact that this is such a hot topic that anything anyone says, you know, becomes automatically controversial. And, you know, while I say that, I also want to say that, for instance, the film industry, Ranveer, which you come from, They've been largely silent about this kind of thing, which is reasonable. You've chosen to speak out. Are you surprised that most people don't want to say anything about this? Look, first I'll, you know, just uh, say a little bit about what you said about yeah. uh, TMC, or, or, you know, uh, TMC members, which is that uh, it doesn't matter what one person thinks. I told you, you know, this, it, it, the deity is not yours, it belongs to a group, and just because you think the deity is, uh, you know, uh, uh, I think she said meat, eating, alcohol, accepting deity, and which is fine. I mean, it is, uh, you know, in, in certain parts of India, that is, uh, that does happen. But I mean, here you have a deity, you know, to who you make an offering from the bounty that you receive from her itself. Uh, and to make a make an offering and suddenly that deity because you, the offering is made to her you know uh, of alcohol and meat so suddenly you're justifying her smoking i mean you know she's not your socialite friend she's that's a that's a deity we are talking about you know so uh, i think that was uh, that was really daft that uh, you know that argument uh, and um, uh, about the FIRs being, like I said, Shiv, I think I, I would I would have liked it if we were a free society. But um, you know, a society is the uh, average of our laws have to be averages of whatever the values of our society are. And uh, if the if uh, if living peacefully demands that there be a law for uh, you know punishment for offending uh, religious sentiments, then they should apply equally to everyone. In the hope that laws are applied equally to everyone, that the principles of justice, uh, you know, the principles of uh, liberalism or, you know, whatever sort of school of thought you want to uh, uh, subscribe to is applied equally to all uh, is uh, at this point of time, it appears to be a far cry, but it's something that we most certainly should be hoping for. There are many people who've said, you know, this entire thing is a tamasha. Why give so much attention to a filmmaker like this? The point is that when it comes to sentiment, it becomes subjective. It's a slippery slope. People are actually reacting. And we will cover that here on India Today. Ranveer Shore, last checked, the only person from the industry who's actually chosen to speak out. And thanks for doing that here on India Today. Ranveer, always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Shiv. And the politics over that Kali poster has escalated now in the city of Kolkata, which is where it's entirely focused on 
These are live pictures coming in from there over Mahua's remarks. Suvendu of the BJP speaking. Ritwik uh, is joining us. Ritwik is joining us live from Kolkata. He's at this uh, protest that's taking place in the Bengal state capital. Live images. India Today right. reporting from that site. Remember, this is the BJP protesting against what Mahua Maitra of the ruling Trinamool in Bengal had said yesterday at the India Today Conclave East. When asked a question about the Kali poster, she had said that my Kali is a meat-eating, alcohol-accepting goddess. It has, uh, uh, you know, many people have defended her. Many people have uh, expressed outrage over her comments. The BJP has registered FIRs and hit the streets. Even Mahua Maitra's own party has distanced itself from her and scolded her in public on social media. Rithik joins me live. Rithik, what's happening right now? Where is the BJP headed? Exactly, I know BJP took this protest out on street and they are hitting the street, not uh, limiting themselves, registering complaint, an official co police complaint demanding immediate arrest of, uh, you know, TMC, member of parliament, uh, you know, Moha Moitro. Now the, they are uh, they are heading to a, towards Hajra. The rally started from Golpa, but let me tell you, primarily this rally was called to commemorate the birth anniversary of Shama Prashad Mukherjee, but now we can hear that you know the slogans raised by the protest and uh, BJP supporters demanding they will not accept any uh, you know insult of any uh, Hindu goddess and we can hear, we can see that the voice is being raised and they are raising slogans and uh, we can see that uh, you know Shubindu Dikari is also here they are also raising slogans and uh, the slogans being heard by uh, you know d uh, demanding uh, immediate arrest of uh, Moa Maitro. So uh, we can see that you know protesters are heading towards the uh, Hajra. I believe there are uh, the, 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 there are another you know meeting a public meeting has been scheduled. Sir, sir, uh, sir, what's your remark on you know Moa Maitro? Last, me, last, 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 last. I am here. Asked to phone me dia. Sir, please, sir, please. Sir, please. Sir, please. So uh, we try to uh, reach out to Shubhan Dikari. Uh, you know, uh, he said that uh, uh, he will definitely address at the end of this particular rally. We have believed that uh, as per the sources and I, Bharati Janata Party is concerned, they told us they are heading this rally to us, uh, you know, Hajra Crossing, which is a stone throw distance from Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee's resident. Now they're going to address a public meeting primarily focus will be arrest of Mohammed Cho. But as of now, as this controversy and you know, a controversy spot, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's a widespread controversy and we have the first reaction of Moya Mitro a couple of hours back. She tweeted that uh, in a posting Jai Mahakali, but BJP has decided to take this further because we, I, I did spoke uh, to several, you know, uh, BJP top leaders of Bhara, uh, no, of Bengal Brigade, they also told me that they gonna they gonna take this further, you know, fighting legal battle until uh, you know Moha Mitro gets arrested by the police and Mamta government's officials and its police take any strong action against its uh, you know ruling party member of parliament Moha Mitro. Back to you. So they're not going to stop this protest until Mahua Maitra is, uh, is uh, you know, is uh, sacked by the party. Is that what you're saying, Rithik? Because because the Trinamool, in a in a in a pretty uncharacteristic way, has scolded Mahua Maitra in public. There was a tweet saying that they condemn her words and do not endorse her words, and that these are her personal comments. She is a high-profile Trinamool leader. She's a spokesperson of the party, and she's been chastised in public very embarrassingly by the party. Are you saying the BJP is not satisfied with that? 
exactly because since uh, yesterday you know she was addressing you know at the india today conclave this 2022 where she raised the this you know controversial remark and since this happened we did see that trinamool congress her own party you know maintaining distance posting uh, from uh, uh, its its official twitter handle that they don't buy moha moitro's comment they all also gone on and condemnation has been raised uh, from the trinamool congress but this morning, we did see that uh, Moha Mitro, you know, unfollows uh, the two official Twitter handle of uh, the Trinamool Congress. And since then, Moha Mitro is ready to take head on with Bharatiya Janata Party. As Bharatiya Janata Party, the critics, uh, you know, they are, they started criticizing and uh, raising slogans. Let me let me uh, take you to what kind of a slogans. श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी को लेकर ये रैली थी यहाँ पर नारे सुन पा रहे हैं कि जे माँ काली की अपमान नहीं सहा जाएगा क्यों जो दीदी जैसे कर रही है वो चारों तरफ भगवान को लेके हम लोगों को जैसे वो इंसाइल कर रहा है सामने किसका हम लोगों का जो ब्रिगेड अभियान है वो लोग जियादी घोषण करने वाला है तो ये हम लोग ओके लेट मी लेट मी गो अक्रॉस टू द बीजेपी लीडर्स दीदी दीदी यस यू आर आल्सो रेजिंग सोगंस अगेंस्ट अबाउट बताकुन नो आई नो दैट दैट नो इंसल्ट विल बी टॉलरेटेड बाय अ बीजेपी मैम यू आर रेजिंग आल्सो सोगंस दैट नो इंसल्ट ऑफ हिंदू गॉडेस विल बी टॉलरेटेड बाय बीजेपी एक्चुअली and she is the only place when we are in distress, we are right. in problem. We think of Makali. She has been, uh, she has been insulted, him and Hindus are humiliated. Hindus sentiment, Hindu softness has been damaged like this, and she, that cannot be allowed by Hindus. That cannot be allowed by Hindus. Ma'am, are you going to take father's legal battle against Mohan? We will go on continuous movement if any action not taken by the party, not taken by the government, if she is not arrested, we will definitely go for further. Ma'am, we just had, I know, Archana Mojundara, senior party member of Bharatiya Janata Party, where she got on record that until Mohan Mitro gets arrested, remember this morning, two separate police complaints uh, has have been registered in two at uh, two separate police station here in Kolkata, one in Bhavanipur, where 55 you know women uh, workers of Bharatiya Janata Party uh, registered uh, uh, you know an official complaint uh, uh, seeking immediate arrest of Mohan Mitra. The second uh, second complaint uh, has been registered at Rash, uh, you know Ravindra Sharabar police station, but uh, we are given to understand that uh, both the complaint are yet to turn into the FIR but now it seems like it's a fight between Bharatiya Janata Party and Trinamool Congress. Trinamool Congress I know maintaining distance from Moha Moitro's remark but as per the BJP is concerned taking out this rally chanting slogans raising voice against Moha Moitro and they made it clear that they're gonna fight this battle until the uh, they get uh, justice and Moha Mutro gets arrested. Back to you. Last question to you. Uh, you know, as we stay on these live pictures uh, from Kolkata, uh, what are you hearing from the government in Kolkata? What is Mamta Banerjee uh, planning to do? How are they planning to navigate this fresh protest by the BJP? Because this is a very emotive issue. <laughs> Uh, definitely, it is going to be very difficult, uh, you know, a, a face class or a, you know, uneasy situation as per the Trinamool Congress top brush or its leadership is concerned. We know uh, as per the, you know, uh, as BJP raised that this is nothing but an insult of Hindu goddess and it's an insult of, you know, Hindu sentiment. So, uh, uh, this is uh, clearly shows and as of now, how TMC reacted, you know, de man uh, maintaining distance from uh, Mahamutro's remark, it clearly shows that they are on a, you know, you know uneasy condition. But as per the sources inside the Rumble Congress is concerned, we believe that uh, uh, the top leaders are also keeping very low 
and they are not ready to reacting on this publicly uh, and criticizing uh, Mohamutro. But it is. It seems like it will be very difficult to manage as per the inside Trinamool uh, Congress politics is concerned. So we'll have to see. We'll, we, we'll have to see, Rithik, whether, whether the Trinamool government headed by Mamta Banerjee, whether they're going to contemplate any further action on Maua under pressure from the BJP or are they going to, you know, just ride out this protest uh, as we've seen several times in the past by both sides because this is an emotive issue when it comes to Kali in Bengal, you know, there are certain things that become red hot and it appears to be the case here as well with the BJP capitalizing on that remark, the public scolding of Mahua Maitra and hitting the streets there in Kolkata. We will return to the story very shortly. We've got some breaking news coming in. Well, after an FIR has been registered against Mahua Maitra of the Trinamool in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan of the BJP has openly criticized Mahua Maitra. He becomes the highest, the most senior politician, a sitting Chief Minister who has waded into this issue and taken on Mahua Maitra directly. He has said, will not tolerate insult of Makali. So the BJP gradually escalating the intensity of its attack on the Kali issue centered around the comment made by Mahua Maitra right here on India Today during the conclave. East. Listen in to Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan. FIR Madhya Pradesh no ho gai hai, humne kaha bhai, hum nahi chhodenge. Maya ka apmaan bhi sahin nahi karenge. Kisi ki aastha ko chod, kisi bhi kiemat par nahi pohata nahi chahiye. Hemendra Sharma breaking the story here on India Today. Hemendra, the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh, you know, he's the first chief minister anywhere in the country who has taken this issue on directly, naming Maua and talking about this issue saying such insults will not be tolerated. It looks like the BJP is in a calibrated fashion escalating this issue. Well, most certainly. In fact, Madhya Pradesh is passing through in fact, and, um, MPs in the middle of a municipal election and this couldn't have come at a more appropriate time for the Bharatiya Janata Party, the ruling party of Madhya Pradesh. So, the Chief Minister Shiva Singh Chauhan earlier during the day, they made it clear that such uh, voices that come up and they won't be tolerated and he in fact uh, issued a uh, <coughs> then got a case registered against Mahua Mahatra in the crime branch in Bhopal and thereafter in the evening while addressing a public rally he said that no such thing would be tolerated and uh, the kind of language that has been used against Goddess Kali would certainly not be tolerated. Okay, Hemendra, thanks very much for that. Uh, uh, the FIR in Bhopal is one of several FIRs that have been registered against Mahua Maitra. Let's take you through some of those because, you know, we've seen in the recent past when someone hurts sentiments, FIRs are lodged against them in different parts of the country. It's become almost a modus operandi, whether it is Nupur Sharma, whether it is uh, some journalists, and now it is Mahua Maitra. FIRs against the filmmaker, meanwhile, Lina Manimekalai, for that smoking Kali poster is something new that has happened. They've happened, in, er, FIRs have been registered in Delhi, in Uttar Pradesh, in Bihar, in Assam, in Madhya Pradesh, and also in West Bengal. So all of those states now have FIRs lodged against Lina Manimekalai, the filmmaker behind that poster, who is now in Canada at this point of time. Now, the uproar over the Kali documentary film continues to escalate, as you can see, on the streets of Kolkata, the political battlefield as well. Multiple FIRs have been filed against Lina, like we just showed you, while the BJP has called for a ban on this filmmaker's documentary for a span of five years. Here are more details of the fallout of the story that India Today had broken yesterday in the wake of Maua Maitra wading in and positively detonating it. Take a look. Outrage over smoking Kali movie growing. Filmmaker Lina Manimekalai, who tweeted controversial images is in legal soup. Multiple FIRs have been filed against the filmmaker across the country.
with Hindu groups seeing red over goddess being shown smoking a cigarette. Cases against Leena lodged in Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Assam, West Bengal and Madhya Pradesh. The filmmaker accused of criminal conspiracy, breaching peace, promoting communal enmity and outraging religious sentiments. BJP moved centre against Leena Mani Mekalai, seeking ban on the filmmaker for at least five years. I understand the freedom of expression, but it does not permit to hurt any religious sentiments. So we have to make such a law, whereas deleting that particular one scene, which is a controversial, it will not solve the purpose. Okay. We should ban that film for forever. सिर्फ हमारे धर्म को ही टारगेट क्यों करते हैं अगर हिम्मत है मर्दानगी है तो किसी दूसरे धर्म पर एक बार बोल के तो दिखाएं। सॉफ्ट टारगेट हिंदू को ही क्यों माना जाता है हमारे देवी देवताओं को इतनी सी बात का ये जवाब दे दे किसी और धर्म पर बोलने की हिम्मत है इनमें निश्चित रूप से ऐसे हल्के ढंग से किसी धार्मिक चीजों पर हस्तक्षेप करके इस तरह का घिनौने काम करना अपमानित करना ये निश्चित रूप से फिल्म इंडस्ट्रीज वाले लोगों को इससे बचना चाहिए और ऐसे लोगों पर कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए आई थिंक इट्स वेरी वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेट आई पर्टिकुलरली बिलीव इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस द डायरेक्टर वांटेड एन ईसी फेम और और प्रॉब्ली अ नेम फॉर द मूवी दैट ही इज ट्राइंग टू रिलीज इट टू गेट आई थिंक द बेस्ट फॉर द सोसाइटी इज टू जस्ट इग्नोर दैट इज व्हाट वी बिलीव इट जस्ट इग्नोर एंड डोंट ऐड फ्यूल टू इट एंड 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 दे विल कीप ड्रिंग वन वंस वी स्टॉप इट समबडी पर्सन कैन स्टॉप Activist Barkhad Rehan also came down heavily on Leena, calling her depiction of Kali outrageous. How dare she put out such a poster, mm. which is everywhere in India, and the she has tried to hurt the sentiment of every Hindu. We are proud and we are tolerant, but that doesn't mean that you can go to any extent to hurt us. And no more of such. Things will be taken for granted now. Twitter, meanwhile, withheld Lena's controversial Kali tweet in India, facing legal notices. Canada's Aga Khan Museum also pulled down the film and apologized. The filmmaker also faced a nupur type, sartan se juda threat from an Ayodhya priest. Sanatan Dharma Sanskriti ka maza kuraoge? Kya chaate ho? Tumhare bhi sartan se jaaye kya? Ye cha hai kya apki? ऐसा नहीं चलेगा इसके नाते गृह मंत्री जी से मांग करता हूं साधु संतों में और सनातन प्रेमियों में इसका जबरदस्त रोष है ऐसे पिक्चर पर बैन लगाए द फिल्म मेकर अक्यूज ऑफ स्टेजिंग चीप स्टंट फॉर पब्लिसिटी फॉर अ फिल्म रिमेन्ड डिफाइंड डिट शी ब्रीच द थिन लाइन सेपरेटिंग आर्टिस्टिक लिबर्टी एंड रिलीजियस रिस्ट्रेंट ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टूडे Now the Ajmer Darga Khadim who openly put out a beheading bounty on Nupur Sharma's head has been arrested a day after India today highlighted that story but that's not the only place where a beheading threat is coming from we'll tell you more on the other side of this Make your media plans smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at ajtag.com or call double nine double nine eight nine two one seven one.
watching. Pre-FIR and a mega TMC BJP face-off. That with regard to the Goddess Kali poster controversy. Now remember, this comes in the backdrop of BJP that had three seats in Bengal Assembly now has 77. Wants to make further inroads using the Hindu World Bank. And that's exactly what the Trinamool Congress fears. And that is why after Mahua Moitra's strong stand at the India Today East Conclave, the TMC decided to distance itself from the TMC MP, making it much worse for her. While she continues to stay defined, is this going to be advantage BJP or advantage Trinamool Congress? That and more at 6pm Prime with me, Pooja Shali on India Today. Do not miss. Just a day after we here on this show showed you a story about how Salman Chishti, one of the Khadims of the Ajmer Sharif Darga, had openly called for the beheading of Nupur Sharma. Today, the Ajmer police in Rajasthan have arrested this absconding Khadim of the Darga. His name is Syed Salman Chishti. He was arrested on Tuesday night. This after he offered on camera a bounty of his own home to anyone who beheads Nupur Sharma and presents him with her head for her remarks on profit. This late night arrest comes after the Ajmer police had initially tried to play down the hate rant claiming that Salman Chishti was just speaking under intoxication. Even the Darga Anjuman panel chief had distanced itself from Salman Chishti's comments but put the onus on the centre claiming that they were guilty of protecting Nupur Sharma. दरगाह के खादिन सलमान चिश्ती द्वारा एक भ्रामक और आपत्तिजनक वीडियो शेयर किया गया है, जिसके बाद तुरंत एफआईआर दर्ज कर ली गई और विभिन्न टीम बनाकर सर्वर टीम की मदद के द्वारा भी आज सलमान चिश्ती को दर्ज से दस्तयाब किया गया। अभी उनसे पूछता जा रही है, उनको उनके खादिन मोहल्ला से ही अभी � on Tuesday, we had reported this hate rant by this Ajmer cleric, Salman Chishti. In the video, he issues a blatant, pretty terrifying death threat, announcing a bounty to anyone who's successful in beheading the suspended BJP spokesperson, Nupur Sharma. Initially, the Darga Anjuman panel chief had distanced itself from the remarks. While the secretary of the panel, Sarwar Chishti, right here on this show, had denounced those comments, distancing himself and calling this person who has issued this threat a lunatic and a drug addict. He called for peace. Today, however, just to show you what the possible reality is, India Today has accessed a new video. In this video, dated June the 15th, Sarwar Chishti, the same person who had criticized this Khadim yesterday, can be heard amplifying the call for protests against Nupur's remarks. Totally the opposite of what he appeared to do on the show yesterday. And this clearly brings to light the two faces, perhaps, or the hypocrisy of the Anjuman panel. That's a question we're asking. You make your mind up when you watch this. <laughs> अगर आप कोई किसी किसी भी क्लिप डालेंगे तो उसके जिम्मेदार आप होंगे ना कि पूरी बरादरी होगी और वो लोग जो हर चीज के लिए अंजुमन को जिम्मेदार ठहरा रहा है तो इसमें हमारी कोई जिम्मेदारी नहीं है हमें तो सिर्फ सात दिन हुए आज अंजुमन का चार्ज संभाले हुए हम किन हालात से गुजर रहे किन मामला से गुजर रहे ये तो अल्लाह ही जानता है और इन्शाअल्लाह हम आपके मामलात पे खरे उतरेंगे कभी 
So perhaps he changed his mind after all these days. Perhaps he changed his mind after he saw what the young Khadim Salman Chishti had said. Whatever be the case, this is an Anjuman panel secretary who first called for this escalation and then is calling for peace. That's the way things clearly work. Well, it turns out that the Ajmer Sharif Darga Khadim isn't the only one who's been talking about beheading in the context of what's been happening over Nupur Sharma and now the Kali poster. In another disturbing remark, the Mahant of the Hanuman Gadi temple in Ayodhya has given a direct beheading threat to filmmaker Lena Manimekalai over her documentary Kali. In this video threat, the Mahant says that Lena will face the same beheading threat in the same manner that Nupur Sharma has been subjected to. Listen into this. Jod Nupur Sharma, who will ever like? I will not be able to do this. 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 Nupur Sharma has said that the whole country is going to be a whole country. The whole country is going to be a और सनातन धर्म संस्कृति का आप मजाक उड़ाओगे क्या चाहते हो तुम्हारे भी सरतन से जाए क्या ये इच्छा है क्या आपकी बिहेडिंग थ्रेट्स ऑन आइडर साइड absolutely unacceptable we'll see if any action is taken against the ayodhya mahant mahant and we'll keep you posted on that as well meanwhile sarwar sarwar chishti who is the secretary of the anjuman committee at the ajmer sharif darga is with me on the phone line uh, chishti saab you know you were very you were very kindly on our show yesterday here on india today where you had called for peace you had said that Salman Chishti is a lunatic, he's a madman, he's a drug addict. You had called for peace yesterday, which was, uh, you know, very admirable. But sir, now there are videos of you that have come up from June the 15th, where you are basically calling for an escalation in the agitation and anger against Nupur Sharma. It looks like you are inciting people, sir. See, neither this is incitement nor escalation. Andolan is my democratic right. We are, and I was supposed to say that we are going to raise Andolan or protest in a very constitutional and democratic way. Neither I have said that it will be a Ugra Andolan, nor I have asked anyone to get involved in any sort of violence. Andolan is the end of the Jumla, like we say. मैं इस हॉस्पिटल को इलाज दूंगा मैं अपने स्कूल को इलाज दूंगा मैं अपने कॉलेज को इलाज दूंगा मैं अपने घर को इलाज दूंगा इस पर जुमला इट्स नॉट एस्कलेशन वेन सी आई हैव सेट टू थिंग इन केस ऑफ प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम की शान में कोई अगर गुस्ताखी होती है फाजो मोहिंदी चिश्ती की शान में गुस्ताखियां होती हैं तो हम आंदोलन करेंगे और देश को इलाज देंगे उसमें कौन सी गली आंदोलन करेंगे उग्र आंदोलन की तो बात नहीं की ना ना ही लोगों से कहा कि ये करना है वो करना है और ये तो 16 का है, 15 तरह तक 15. Change between then and now, sir. What change between then and now? Because there, in front of a crowd, you know, you are calling for people to get angrier. You are fanning their emotions. I was elected. I was elected that day as secretary, but I was not. I have not taken the charge. On 27th, I have taken the charge. It's 10 days before that taking the charge. Now I'm I'm not responsible position and responsible responsible situation, but I have not asked for any sort of violence. Neither I have said that Sir Tan Singh Juda, nor I have said that someone will going to kill Nupur Sharma. We are going to reward him or her. We have said nothing like that. Andolan, neither Ugra Andolan, nor any kind of the what you call say aggressive agitation. I have just said Andolan. Or they just go elating the means. It's a, it's a sort of jumla. I want to play out for you, Sarwar. Let me play out for you what you have said. You're defending it, saying that you were not part of the Anjuman committee when you made this comment. But now that you are in a responsible position, you, you know, you have changed your stance on this, which is, you know, I don't know how many people will, you know, will actually buy that argument. But let me play out for you once what you have said, and then let's see what you say to that. Let's just play it out for our viewers once. 
अगर आप कोई किसी किस्म की क्लिप डालेंगे तो उसके जिम्मेदार आप होंगे ना कि पूरी बिरादरी होगी और वो लोग जो हर चीज के लिए अंजुमन को जिम्मेदार ठहरा रहे हैं तो इसमें हमारी कोई जिम्मेदारी नहीं है हमें तो सिर्फ सात दिन हुए आज अंजुमन का चार्ज संभाले हुए हम किन हालात से गुजर रहे किन मामला से गुजर रहे हैं ये तो अल्लाह ही जानता है और इन हम आपके मामला पे खड़े उतरेंगे Chishti Sahab, you you know you're saying things like uh, "pura Hindustan hill jayega." That you know, uh, if if people uh, you pay, share this video, then uh, nobody can be responsible for the repercussions. This is practically inciting violence, sir. How can you have changed your mind so quickly in a few days? Chishti, I am not inciting violence. I am seeing nothing uh, violent in this. I am not inciting people to do violence. Hindustan hill jayega means it's a jumla. Let me hospital ila dunga, ghar ila dunga, college ila dunga, school ila dunga. With my should voice, you, should you not have been calling for protest, peace on that day itself? With my democratic tariqa, no, no, I, I, sir, I, sir, you have, you have all the rights to do whatever you wish, sir. Ne desh ko ila hai, ila hai. Chishti sir, Chishti sir, at a time, Chishti sir, at a time when you should be calming tensions, calming people down, you were fanning their emotions. That's what I'm asking you about because yesterday you were very, very reasonable, sir. So, so this is 10 days before video, and in case of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Fajr Muhyiddin Chishti, we are really very, very emotional about this. See, I am going to to a certain place. I have been invited. But, so that kindly, cannot justify the killings in Amravati and Udaipur, sir. Surely, you are not justifying violence against human beings. You know, for no, no, for, for, for the violence. things that you are talking about. I am not about. justifying violence. I am echoing my emotions. It's one thing to be sentimental and emotional. It's another thing to murder people, sir. I am sure you are not endorsing that. No, I am not endorsing any sort of violence nor killing. We are against all these things. But okay. I uh, understand yes, my sir. democratic and constitutional life, like Kisan Absolutely. Andolan, Jai Tanjalan, Gujar Andolan. Though they were very, oh, what you can say, is they were very uh, aggressive. But we are we we will never become aggressive. But in a constitutional way, we are going to raise our voice against those people who are uh, 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 hurting our sentiment. Hmm. Okay, Sarvaj Chishti okay. Sir, I respect you. Thank you for taking our questions on this on this uh, you know sensitive issue because Sarvaj Chishti of the Anjuman panel of the Ajmer uh, Ajmer Sharif Darga had sounded extremely extremely. Reasonable yesterday, he had called for calm. He had criticised the Khadim uh, Salman Chishti and said that what he has said is absolutely condemnable. But there can be no instance of someone fanning tensions and feeding the flames of emotion and sentiment at a very volatile time. Religion, sentiment, slippery slopes in this country as the last few days, weeks, and months have incessantly, almost uninterruptedly shown. And we will continue to shine the light. Ask the questions, and we don't take sides here on India Today. That's it on Five Live. Thanks for watching. Next, we're putting the spotlight back on the city of joy, Kolkata. Not much joy there for Mahua Maitra, though, because 24 hours after she dropped that bombshell at the India Today Conclave East, it's a political firestorm that she couldn't possibly have anticipated, and it's only escalating. Pooja has the full story next from Kolkata. Who will capture Maharashtra and Mumbai? 2022's biggest political meltdown. Big breaking news that's coming in this morning. Began with India Today's news break. Rumors and reports coming in of a rebellion within Shiv Sena. Uncompromising on every twist and turn. This meeting between NCP leaders and Shiv Sena leaders has been on. Now they are entering.